The Elite Amateur Fight League Season 2 National Championship rolling on from San Diego. Jim Greeshaber here with UFC Bantamweight Frankie Signs and Frankie, that last finish by Edwin Cooper Jr. has Jackson Wink in New Mexico back on top of Alpha Male in Northern California. Jim in the semis, New Mexico won on the road in Arizona. And they're in great position to do the same here tonight against the California Commandos. Fight number four, let's take a look at the Elite Amateur Fight League tail of the tape. Don't just be a fan, become an owner. Invest today on WeFunder.com. My name is Kaleo Romero. I train in Sacramento, California with Team Alpha Mel. I'm currently 5-0. Um, it's the best team in the world. They got killers in there. There's a lot of good bodies, great facility, great coaches. I feel pretty confident. Uh, we got a good group of guys, and we've all been getting after it. Training camp went good. Uh, I just fought in August. Came off a 35-second knockout. Went straight back to it. My opponent's name is Justin O'Connor. Uh, I don't know much about him, but you can expect I'm going for the kill. I'm looking to break this guy in his face, pressure, 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 and I'm looking to take his head off. New Mexico, I hope you're ready. And let's welcome his opponent into the cage. Fight out of the blue corner. Give it up for Justin O'Connor. My name is Justin O'Connor. I train over at Jackson Wink facility and I've been training for about two and a half years now. Training camp went well, everything went perfect. My diet's on point, my training was on point, and I had the greatest uh, partners to be working with. To be a part of the Elite Amateur Fight League is amazing. To be representing New Mexico in this tournament is nothing short but an honor. To be able to compete against these multiple teams, against these states, is just amazing. So I hope to be able to do it again in the future. The crowd can expect a mix between a stand-up and wrestling, but they can also expect an amazing performance when it comes to jiu-jitsu. Kaleo, we're going to have an amazing fight tonight, but I'm going to pull it out in the end. Since we knew these two teams were going to take each other on for the title, Justin O'Connor for Jackson Week in New Mexico, the Blasian sensation against Kaleo Romero for Alpha Male and Northern California. Kaleo is in the green trunks and Justin O'Connor is in the black for Jackson Wink, Frankie, both of them high-level wrestlers, both of them with dominating performances against very good opponents in the semifinals. O'Connor took down Tommy Stevens of Arizona, and Romero beat Christian Stolp of the defending champion Southern California Kraken. As they get it started right away, shooting in for the takedown is Kaleo Romero, and now he picks him up. Right now, O'Connor's just got this guillotine in here. Kaleo's doing the right thing by trying to get him He's trying to shake it out, trying to get that head loose. But what he really needs to do is put him up against the fence to kind of relieve a little bit of that pressure. Right now he's kind of getting choked, but he's, he's uh, tucking that chin nice and tight so it's not getting all the way underneath there. Let's see, slowly walking him over here to the cage. Let's see if we can find that cage. Great start early on. Wow, unbelievable pressure 
being put on there by the Blazing Sensation, Justin O'Connor. And how strong is Romero, not only to withstand this choke, not tap, but also be holding him up like that and now doing exactly what you said, Frankie, pinning him against the cage to try to break that pressure. You know, in this position just takes patience. You know, you put him up against the fence, kind of relieve a little bit of this tension that's, that's kind of, you know, really coming down on that choke. And let's see if he can slowly work, work his way out. And he's out. Yeah, he's out. And so much strength expended by O'Connor, we should note, with that choke. Just cranking as hard as he could for a long period of time to try to get that finish. And Romero able to withstand it, now working for a choke of his own. Now Kaleo, yeah, hopped in for that guillotine. Um, O'Connor hopped over, which is the right thing to do when you get in that guillotine. You don't, want, you don't want your opponent to get that angle. So right now he's here, he's side mounted. Up on the single, Kaleo looking to come up. He has the back, looking for that slam. We remember that slam from the first round. Took his back. You know, this exhausting position up against the fence. Got one hook in, looking for the neck. Throwing some pretty good lefts on him as round number one comes to a close. You know, quick round. I like that uh, that overhand looking for the shot there by uh, by Kaleo. You know, to start the round and really set the tempo for the fight. Yeah, absolutely. And he did not, you know, it's, it's nice for young fighters to see this as they're watching right now, that he did not lose his composure at all when he was caught in that choke. So many times when something like that happens, people will tend to rush, tend to start breathing faster, breathing heavier, and then they get themselves choked out. But in that situation, Romero kept his cool, controlled his breathing, very methodical with escaping that choke. He didn't try to rush it, was able to reverse it, and actually dominate the second portion of that round. Well, when we're at Team Alpha Male, you know, they got a, they got a system of where they, they try to go for chokes, and they have about four or five different transitions where they come from. You know, so I'm sure he's been in that position a million times and being able to just find his way and just be comfortable just getting out. Both fighters have to have some confidence heading into round number two for different reasons with their performances in round number one. O'Connor almost got the finish over Romero. Romero has to know that he's taking the best from O'Connor and then still come back strong as we get set for round number two. A left connects from Romero, and it was almost a slip that knocked O'Connor down. You know, life, nice lefts. You know, Kaleo's looking for those overhands kind of on the way in. Nice double leg there by O'Connor. And this is just simple wrestling right here, defending that single leg, got the body wizard, beating that body up, hips nice and tight. This is uh, an exhausting position for O'Connor. Incredible leg strength from Kaleo Romero. Almost threw a knee there, thought better of it with the no knees to the head rule. Kaleo with that, uh, that front headlock right into the pass. Now he has his back. Beast mode for Kaleo Romero. Wow, just picks him up and throws him down on the ground. Bam, back to that another slam. Got one hook in, looking for that neck. Now he got some up against the fence. And like I said before, there's nowhere to go when you get trapped up, up here against the fence. You know, right now he's probably got to get to his back. Kaleo looking to sink that choke in. Didn't have the right position to do it. Now goes for top mount. And just a dirty brawl on the ground right now. And O'Connor in survival mode against Kaleo Romero of Alpha Male, who looks like the Alpha Male in this fight right now. You know, and right here, this is a terrible position with your neck up against the fence. You know, with your opponent on top, just, just pressure. This is a lot of pressure right here. You know, but he needs to, he needs to unlock that, uh, that guard he has. You know, see how he has both his feet crossed right there? If you're going to get out, you got to unlock that guard there. Try to create some kind of angle to get up and run. Use the fence to walk up. If there's one positive here for O'Connor, he's done a good job defending against the strikes up to this point of Romero, but you can just see that weight leaning on him and those elbows and forearms pressing against the sides of his face, his forehead, fighting with everything he can is O'Connor to get up and Romero sprawling out trying to hold position as the round comes to a close. You need to go back into that front headlock. Kind of what, what wrestlers do to exhaust the guys is they get you on the ground, they make you make a mistake. I think he was just sitting there waiting for O'Connor to just kind of give him his back, try to do something to get back to his feet. And that's when you win, like you try to take advantage of the, in the transitions. Round number one, very close. I'd have to say round number two, not as close for Romero. It looked like Romero easily won round number two. Round number one, maybe a toss up. Yeah, I'd give that round to, uh, to Romero as well. 
you know, come landing a couple overhands, but you know, at the end, it's just dominating on top. You know, finishing most of the round on top uh, wins me the round. So you have it two to nothing in rounds right now for Romero, which means O'Connor would have to get a finish in round three. You know, or O'Connor has the tools to finish this fight. You know, we've seen him in his last fight. You know, I mean, he's a tough, tough, tough opponent. Either way, I don't think Kaleo's taking anything for granted. He's coming full bore as we look at O'Connor there, still with a lot of energy. Both fighters really fresh, great cardio. And again, coming out of gyms like these with these fight teams, they put in the work and they're ready to go. They're in tremendous shape. Strength and conditioning, a huge part of what they do, as you've seen with the physiques on display all night. And look at Romero coming right in on the shot again, Frankie, working that single leg on O'Connor up against the gate. There's no secret with Romero. He wants that takedown. He wants to put you up against the fence, and he wants to just wear, uh, wear O'Connor out and get this W. Good takedown defense so far from O'Connor, working the Muay Thai. Is Romero throwing some knees to the body as these two jockey for position, two bulls right there, fighting with every bit of strength they have as the national title is on the line here in San Diego, bragging rights, so many other things, a couple of nice shots there, including a big right hand from Romero as they separate. You know, O'Connor O'Connor o o has est established some position up here in the fence or up in the cage. You know, he's just kind of been backing up. That was a bad shot there by O'Connor. Not even close. You know, this is just patience right here in this uh, in this wrestling position up on the single again. You know, and you, Kaleo can just relax right here. This is just a wrestling position. You can just relax. You've been here a million times. Yeah, and wrestlers feeling comfortable there. And, and I thought that was a desperation shot from O'Connor, telegraphed it, really didn't need to do that, actually put himself in a really bad position here. Yeah, so a lot of wrestlers, they feel like they're down in the cards. You know, they want to get that takedown, and sometimes it's, there's just no setup. But again, he's on that single, and this is just exhausting for, for an opponent on the single here. Oh, wrapping up that figure four. Man, just look at that. You can see the excruciating pain on the face of Justin O'Connor as Kaleo Romero continues to beat him up and just grind him on the ground. And that's when you know you're in a big time fight. He's getting mauled out there. You know, and these are, they call these wrestling scrambles. You know, these are what, <laughs> these are what are exhausting. That's a great job by O'Connor right there, flipping around trying to get top position as the referee separates the two fighters. And that's the end of the fight right there. O'Connor flipping around and trying to make something happen at the very end, but a dominating performance against a great opponent in O'Connor by Kaleo Romero. And you'd have to think that Romero will get the win here and more points for Alpha Male, probably a unanimous decision and get him the four. Yeah, I mean, nice reversal, reversal by O'Connor, uh, but I think it's just a little too late. Yeah, he put up a hell of a fight, too, I'll tell you that. He was getting mauled in rounds two and three. Very, very good performance by both fighters, two of the best fighters in the country on display here tonight. And that's exactly what you'd expect with the EAFL on national TV, two of the best gyms and fight teams in the world, two guys who have very promising futures in front of them, but just high-level wrestling and ground game from Kaleo Romero in this fight. Overwhelming. You know, and Uriah Faber recruits these kind of guys. You know, wrestlers that just have that strong base, you know, and just have a good work ethic. You know, it's kind of the guys that he wants in the gym. Yeah, absolutely, no question about that. When you look at what Kaleo Romero was able to do in this fight, and man, Jackson Wink's a tough place as well, and O'Connor against most of his opponents is not gonna get out wrestled like that. But again, he did a couple of things in this fight, maybe a little bit out of character for him, maybe not used to being in a situation where he's getting beat like that, a couple of desperation moves that didn't work out, but a couple of things here and there to remember in this fight, he had Romero in that tight choke early in round number one, 90% of his opponents are gonna tap to that choke, just not Kaleo Romero, what a beast he is. You know, and that's discouraging for an opponent. You know, you get that nice tight choke, you know, and he just kind of walks through it. Yeah, excellent performance by these two. You know, these guys are high level, which is why they're at the gyms they're at. Obviously, as we await the official decision, nice to see those two fighters embrace in the middle of the cage, that wrestling mentality, great sportsmanship as we always see in mixed martial arts. And here it is, let's go up to Carlos right now. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All judges, score the belt. 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Hello, Romero! The unanimous
unanimous decision victory by Kaleo Romero puts California in striking distance with a score of 12 to 10. Jackson Wink still has the lead. Once again, Frankie, it will all come down to the last fight of the night with the national championship on the line here in San Diego.